Right, so a year after Eagles founder Glenn Fry died, his 24-year-old son Deacon was brought into the band. It felt so right. Deacon looked like his dad and sounded pretty good too. All was fine until he quit in 2022, making just a few appearances since. At the time, the band thanked him for his work, but I'm going to tell you why he suddenly left, and it's not as clear-cut as portrayed. Don Henley is a legend and my favourite eagle, but he's a grumpy old sod. He's also very fond of the dollar, and nothing gets in the way of that. Although Deacon was announced in 2017 as an official member, he wasn't getting paid an equal wage. Don rules with an iron fist, whether you're Fry's son or not. His instinct would be, sorry Deacon, you're a hired gun and a nobody really. We've seen this before with Don Felder, who was cast out in the cold for challenging the power structure. If you don't like the hired gun status, then piss off. The same thing happened here with Deacon. Now you could argue that this guy in his 20s doesn't want to be stuck in his father's shadow for life, but he could have used the platform to promote his solo work. Vince Gill does it in the Eagles all the time. Deacon wasn't being paid the same rate or treated as a grown-up like the other official members, and he walked. 